Levi. Where are we going next Tuesday? Tell the camera. Yeah. Going to Texas. Or suitcase is out already. You guys want to set up the top.
Local Business yeah, Training Department, the one. from whom you yeah. board members commit additional training hours for practice. Scripture says to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you. Let us please join me in a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord God, we give you many thanks for all.
Lieutenant Colonel Crosby will now come forward and address our graduating class. All right, all right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 37th Training Wing, home of Air Force Basic Military Training. Thank you to all the loved ones, the families, the friends, the guests in attendance here today. Our families are the bedrock of this nation, our Air Force, and you provide us the strength we need to accomplish the mission. And our mission here is to motivate, train, inspire the next generation of airmen with the foundation to deliver 21st century air power. And in executing our mission, you trusted us to turn your sons gesture of recognition and a friendly greeting to a comrade in the honorable profession of arms. 
To maintain the proper decorum and respect for events such as this, we ask that you abide by the following standards while you are here. First, there will be times that you will be asked to stand for the invocation, the playing of the national anthem, the playing of the Air Force song, the reciting of the oath of enlistment, and the Airmen's Creed. Second, we ask that you remain silent during these times, reflecting on the price that has been paid for our freedom. Third, we ask that you pay respect to the flag during the national anthem and as it passes during the review. Military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute. Civilians should stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. After the last note of the national anthem and after the flags have passed, you may return your hand to your side. As flights pass in review, applause is appropriate, but please limit that applause so that others may hear the narration of the names and hometowns of the military training instructors. Please reserve the strictest respect during our oath of enlistment. During the oath, service members pledge their lives to support and defend the Constitution and our country.
Assistant Leader, 737 Training Group, hometown Belmont, New Hampshire. home to come here to join us. They came here, we've taken good care of them, and by the selfless sacrifice, countless hours of our military training instructors who you saw represented here just a few minutes ago, we have molded them into 612 of our Air Force's newest airmen. I want to thank our MTI Corps. They do this job day, day out, hour by hour, minute by minute. You have touched and continue to touch our airmen and our Air Force in ways that you can't even measure. Just about every airman who comes through here always remembers their interaction with their MTI. That's the influence that you have. There's a reason why we call Air Education and Training Command the first command. It's because every airman's career starts in the first command. Every enlisted airman's career starts here at Lackland. You heard earlier for Chief Master Sergeant Thompson. His career started 30 years ago to the day, to the hour, and almost to the minute, I imagine, for 30 years of service to our country and our Air Force and Moling Airmen. That is the importance of what we do, what we do here. To our Airmen, specifically, as I mentioned, your enlisted journey has started here. Seven and a half weeks ago, you left home with feelings of hope, excitement, but probably most of all, uncertainty. What is this journey I'm about to embark on? Take this day, take this moment to take stock of the things you've overcome, the challenges you've risen to meet yourself and with your team. That's what it means to be an airman in our Air Force. How many times did you think this was an improbable task or an impossible task, but you found a way you found the right skills, you had the right leadership, followership, teamwork, mutual respect, but most of all, trust in each other to get the job, the mission, the task complete. So now you've had a small bite of what it means to be a part of something greater than yourself. And we're glad that you're here. I'm extremely excited. You may be wondering what's next. Our narrator talked about it briefly, but I want to let you know that people, airmen, you, are the most important part of our comparative advantage on our mission against enemy foe, any foe, and any enemy. Therefore, as we have poured into you here at Basic Training, we're going to continue to pour into you to help you grow and develop in our Air Force and as an airman. We're going to make sure that you're competent, credible, capable, and confident to get on mission and get the job done for our United States Air Force, for the Joint Force, and for the United States. You are about to become a crucial part, an integral part of the most respected and the most trusted enlisted force in the world. Did they climb the walls? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was ladders. Yeah, that's the way it was.
I wonder how it looks inside. That's right there, what I would love to see. Fresh back here to go off the green. <laughs> 